Hi everyone, um, Lindsay here. I did something. <laughs> so today on Ashley's live, on Oak Row Gals live chat, someone mentioned mini waffles. And the other day at Bed Bath & Beyond, I had seen these little mini griddle and waffle maker things. So I went out and bought them. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is cook some things in them because I need to eat lunch. For lunch, I will plan to make maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up some recipes now. So I will see what I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna show you them and then tomorrow I will cook with them. And then I will put this whole video together and then you can see my review. All right, so here are the boxes. So the first box is a griddle. And if you look on the side, it says to get cooking fast and that you it has quick cleanup and everything, which I like, I like quick cleanup. And then it shows like, I don't know what those are, hash browns or something, which we won't be making. And then, an egg so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and make an egg in it and see how that turns out because if I can make eggs like this oh man instead of bringing out a huge frying pan and then having to clean the whole frying pan and everything yeah that would be fun and then the next product is the mini waffle maker and it's a four inch cooking surface again same things on the side and then on this side it shows the waffle so that's pretty cool and then I also picked up in the, along the same lines the dash company this egg cooker so you can do six eggs uh, so you can do hard-boiled soft-boiled and medium boiled you can also do apparently um, an omelet in here and you can also do poached eggs in here which I'm excited about because poached eggs are my favorite so this is what it looks like outside of the box for that one it's super cute like you just twist off the lid you can take this thing out um, but you still need to have it in to cook anything you want you just take this little handle off and then you can put in, this is the little measuring cup and it has a little egg thingy. It says you need to poke the egg before you put it on here. So I don't know. And then there's like measurements and stuff on this. So if you want soft boiled eggs, you fill water to that level and then pour it in. And then if you want medium eggs, you fill it to that level and put them in. And then if you want hard boiled, you fill it to that level and put it in and then it's supposed to shut off once the water has boiled out and then you know it's done interesting and then if you look at this side the omelet and the poached egg you fill to this line and then it's supposed to be done so this is the little egg poacher little tray and so you like I said you take this handle off and then you put this on top of here and then this is the omelet tray so again take off the little handle and put this on top and then put the lid on it so yeah so we will try this I want to make a poached egg with it because those are my favorite and then at some point I may even do some hard boiled eggs tomorrow because I'm thinking that I want some hard boiled eggs for meal prep. So I probably will do that in here.
tomorrow. This is the little griddle. Super cute. Like, look at how big this is. It's not very big at all. It's like the size of your hand. Put my hand over it. You can't see it. So, yeah. So, this little blue light turns on when you plug it in and it's ready to go. And then there's your griddle. So, I'm going to wash these and season them tonight so that they are ready to go. So, that is the griddle. And then this... I just put these on my little tiny shelf and it's amazing that they fit on there. So this same thing, blue button or blue light. And then this is the waffle maker. So yeah, so I'm kind of excited. I'm going to find a couple of recipes and we're going to try them. I will try them live on my camera, or not live, but <laughs> I will film them and as I'm cooking with them, so you can see, probably what we'll do is I will throw in the hard boiled eggs and then I will cook in the griddles um, while the hard boiled eggs are going and then, yeah, and then we will see what I can make. So I wanna make a poached egg, I'm gonna make a regular egg and then I'm gonna make maybe two waffle type things and then that will be my lunch for the day. And then I'll do some hard boiled eggs. So yeah, so we're gonna try this tomorrow and I will see you when we continue this video. Hi guys, so it is the next day and I am about to make my supper. It is, I don't even know what time it is. 6.30 and so I'm gonna see how long this takes to make and yeah and try out these new wonderful cutesy mini appliances so the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my eggs I have greased this um, poaching pan and I'm gonna put in two eggs it says to grease it and then it says to crack your eggs in each one each little pocket looks like large eggs fit fit in perfectly so far <laughs> so there is two large eggs and then it says to place this on top of the rack that would hold your boiled eggs and then put the lid on it but it says not to lock this in place but before we do that i guess i should add my water so i'm adding my water i had measured out up to the omelet mark right there and that will give me enough water to boil or to do these eggs. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna add salt and pepper before they go, cause I do like salt and pepper on my eggs. And that might be a nice idea to put on before they start cooking. So I'm going to do that. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna set it up off camera on my dishwasher because I want to plug these ones in here so that we can see them cooking on camera. So I will be right back. Okay, so I started those eggs at 628, so we're gonna see how long they take. Um, I have made up the waffle batter, and so we are gonna plug in the waffle maker and see how long this takes. So the light is on, as you can see there. And so the waffle mixture that I made is just the, just a very tiny version of the egg loaf. And so I used one tablespoon of cream, or sorry, one ounce of cream cheese, one egg, a half a teaspoon of swerve, a sprinkle of cinnamon and 
just a little bit of a pour of vanilla extract. So, and then I've gone ahead and mixed that all together in this little cup here. And we're just gonna wait for that light to go off. I'm also grabbing the sausages that I made um, in my meal prep video. And I'm going to grab one of those because I'm going to do that on the grill, on the griddle. So I grabbed one of those. I'll just throw these back in the freezer. Okay, so I'm not too sure if I can plug in both of these in the same outlet, so we're going to try that. If we lose power, we know why. So they're both on. It'd be great if we could use them both at the same time. I oiled them with a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil last night. Um, I wiped them down and then heated them up and then wiped them down again with the olive oil. So you can always already feel that they're getting hot, which is great. They're super quick to heat up, I believe. This one's already off, look at that. So like, what was that, 30 seconds to a minute? So that is the, that is the waffle maker. Now I'm gonna probably try and use about half of this. So there's about a quarter of a cup here, so I'm gonna pour about an eighth of a cup. Ooh, listen to that, eh? All right, so you don't wanna overfill it, but we're gonna see if that works. That was about half of the mixture. The egg timer is already done. All right, so 634, so that took, okay, I hear you, thank you. So 634, so that took a total of six minutes. Oh, these eggs look amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my little tiny oven mitts and I will bring that over. Okay, so this is supposed to be the poached eggs. Let me just move everything up. Oh, that waffle smells amazing too. <laughs> oh my goodness, my kitchen is smelling amazing. Okay, so this one just shut off, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my patty on there. Look how perfectly my patty fits in. So we're gonna throw the patty on there. Sorry if it's a little loud, it is doing its thing. This light is still on, so I think that is still working. These eggs look great, but I'm not sure if they're done. So we're just going to grab a bowl, just in case. And I'm gonna grab, I don't know, a spoon maybe? And just kind of see, I'm just gonna see if they're done. Cause they just, I don't know, it's weird. They're like all, yeah, see, okay, so obviously that was not enough time. So, I wonder, yeah, that thing is totally dry. So I'm gonna put in another half. Okay. So it doesn't seem like that was enough time for these eggs. So I just turned them back on and put in another measurement of the omelet poached eggs because it feels like they're halfway done. So I almost wonder if you should fill this like to there, like double that. I'm not sure. It could just be because it's the first time using it. Um, it could be that I'm, all, I'm doing two eggs instead of one. I'm not really sure what the variable will be because I, when I read the instructions, it just said to fill it to this line and then to, to use it that way. So I'm not too sure. Okay, look at this. So this is our waffle. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a plate. No, I don't 
don't have any small plates. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a big plate because my dishwasher is full of dishes. So this is the waffle, look at that. So I'm gonna do another one. Now, I don't know if I need to wait for that to turn back off to do another one. This one is still working away. And take a look at it. Look at that. Let's see if we need to flip that over. Mm, not quite. See, because it doesn't touch the top of the griddle because my patties are a little bit thin, I do have to flip that in the griddle, but it does seem to be cooking really, really quickly, which is very, very nice. Okay, so that is turned back off again. So we will add the rest of this. So it looks like you could fill it right to the line, like right to the level there, and it would be okay. And of course this mixture is a little bit differently different because it doesn't puff up. It doesn't really have all that much to it because it's just egg mixture. There's no baking powder or anything to help it rise. You could probably alter this recipe with some almond flour or something like that um, if you wanted to. I also thought about putting like protein powder in if you wanted to do that or even collagen powder. I do want to try and do the chocolate collagen powder in these um, to just give me a different way to have the collagen. So, so yeah, so this is going still. The eggs over off camera are still going. At least the alarm for that is really nice. That seems to be okay. But, like I said, if, you, if you're going to say that it works in so many minutes, then it should work because they tell you only to fill the water up to this point. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, I think, is that this line doesn't really work for omelets or poached eggs. I'm not sure if it would work for omelets. Maybe poached eggs needs to be just a bit higher. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to try this, the hard boiled, medium boiled, soft boiled eggs. Um, I won't be doing that today, but I could do it in another video, just like maybe on a day in one of my daily videos. Let's see how that's coming along. Um, just because I will be doing some for sure because I didn't buy any. Oh, look at that. Nice and browning. That's perfect. So it is coming along nicely. Oh, look at that. Waffle is coming along nicely too. So it does get a little bit hot like because these handles are so close to the body of the, of the um, appliance. It does get a little bit hot. So trying to hold it down to keep it going. So I probably didn't use half <laughs> because obviously this is not quite, this one is bigger than the first one, but that's okay. So look at that, there is the other one. Perfect, perfect. They both look great. They're both, once you let it cool off a little bit, it does have quite the consistency for like a softer waffle. You probably could throw these in the toaster if you wanted them to be like more of a toasted waffle. But I like soft waffles, so I am okay with that. I'm just gonna lift this up and see if the other side is browned. It is. So I'm gonna throw that on there because I know that is done. So that's great. So while I cooked two waffles, I cooked one patty. And then we are still just waiting on the eggs, which shouldn't be too much longer. And so I'm just going to shut this off until the eggs are done. All right, so these eggs are done. Um, I, so I would say, again, I would say that probably you're better off filling the poached egg to closer to the hard um, measurement on this cup and then I think you'd probably get a better result. This was very close to that amount and these eggs are quite done. I don't know if I'm going to put them in my sandwich or not though. So yeah so th these eggs are kind of still a little bit soft inside 
So they could go maybe a little bit less than hard even, or just even like maybe a pinky width above the poached omelet line. And that would probably give you perfect poached eggs. So in rating this, let me just try this because then that will give me, I'm just going to grab some mustard for my sandwich. So these appliances were really simple to use. They look like they'd be very simple to clean up. I wiped these down um, while I was waiting for the eggs to go. And so they're ready for their next use. They just need to finish cooling off and then I'll put them back up on their shelf. But yeah, so I think that, and then these can go in the top rack of your dishwasher if you need to, or you can just wash them by hand. And then it says just to wipe out the well of the egg maker. So I'm just going to switch the camera around. I don't really like eating on camera, but I want to give you guys an honest opinion. Hi guys. Okay, I have this flipped over, so my camera is on that side right now. <laughs> so I have to remember that while I'm talking to you guys so that I don't end up talking to you oh I have to put my eggs away and stuff and I have dishes to do yay you don't want to see the rest of my kitchen honestly you don't so I'm going to try a little bit of the poached egg mm. okay and I'll try a little bit of this of it with the yolk as well Mm-hmm. yeah I think if you did on this thing, if you went like a finger, like a pinky width above this poached line, I think those eggs would be perfect and runny and... So, I think it also might depend on where you are in the country um, because of barometric pressure and all that kind of stuff. Do some testing. Um, at the moment, until I can figure out which is the best for my poached eggs. I'm going to give this like an 8 out of 10, I think, this machine. Just because it didn't do it the first time. And like I said, I don't know if it's because it's the first time or if it's user-related. <laughs> I hope it's not user-related. I read through the instruction book fairly thoroughly. And so <laughs> it could just be me. I don't know. But it could also be the barometric pressure. Um, people in Ontario, I think all of their like stove and everything cooks a little hotter than over here just because of the pressure. Um, so that might be affecting it. I'm not really sure. But who knows? But the other two appliances I am in love with. The waffle maker came out really nice. The waffles came out really cute. And you could throw them in the toaster if you didn't want them to be soft like this, which I think is great. Um, and the griddle cooked my sausage patty just great. I didn't have to pull out a frying pan. All I needed to do was wipe it out with a wet paper towel. It's ready for the next use. So... I like that in that it's super easy to use. So now let's try it. Mm. I know we're not rating my food, but this is good. Mm -mm -mm. So all in all, I'd say for $30 for the two grills that's not 30 each that's 30 together for the waffle maker and the griddle and then $17 for the egg maker I think that's not bad like I would probably rate the griddle and the waffle maker a 10 out of 10 for sure just because like I said there it was easy to use it heated up super fast like a minute not even I don't even think and it cooked everything really 
nice and easy and it was easy to tell when it was done. So if you're looking for something to make quick meals for yourself, especially if you're the only keto person in your house, I think these would be a great investment. So I bought these at Bad Bath & Beyond, so you can probably order them online if you needed to, if you can't get to a Bed Bath & Beyond. They come in a cute little box and yeah, I'm happy <laughs> and I will definitely get more use out of these for sure. Lunch, um, you know, like I said, that's basically one um, egg loaf and actually it's probably a little bit more than one egg loaf. I'm gonna have to do the macros on it and I will put the macros at the end of this video for this meal so that you can see. Um, I'll also uh, type out the recipe that I used for the um, egg loaf and I'll also put a link to my sausage making video for you. The poached eggs are poached eggs. So <laughs> it was pretty much pour the eggs in add salt and pepper, turn it on. So that was pretty easy, but I will do all of that in the bottom of this video um, for the egg loaf and also for, or the egg loaf waffles. And for the sausage uh, video, I will link below. And, or maybe I might even try cards. I don't know, I haven't tried those yet, so who knows? So if you see a card, click on it. <laughs> because uh, I have yet to use them and I'm not really sure how. So I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe today is a good day to try them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and finish eating my lunch because that is lunch for today. I'm also going to throw this in my what's for, what do I eat today video as well. So you'll catch this all in there as well, but not the review part of it. And yeah, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do more product reviews, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know how you liked this, this product review. This is my very first product review that I've ever done. Um, because I haven't even started doing like bike product reviews either. So I think that'll more come as we start using our bikes more and as we start going out on trips and things getting ready for next year. So for now, you're getting keto useful kitchen appliance product <laughs> stuff. And uh, yeah, so I hope you really like it and I hope you will join me in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.